So welcome to the third tutorial in the fluid simulation series and in this tutorial I'm going to experiment with modeling downwash. So I've already created a large cube which will become the domain for the fluid. Basically it's just just on the inside of this of this building and it comes all the way down to the ground plane. So what we're going to do first is we're going to select these buildings, come over to the physics panel uh, and we are going to choose we are going to choose to make it an obstacle and the important thing um, is that it's got to also got to have shell selected which means that basically the fluid is going to stay on the outside of the obstacle. It also needs to have free slip which means that the fluid will move down the side of it. So let's also select this building and we'll come to the physics panel and we'll choose the type obstacle again and it also needs to be on the outside of the building and it also needs to flow over the top of it. And the other obstacles in this area include the tree which is still got its um, attributes attached to it in the physics panel from the last time that we um, used it. So now the next thing that we need to do is we need to create a source for the water. To do that we'll go up to Add Mesh Cube and we will put it in the top area of our domain. We'll press S to scale it, something like that. And making sure that it is inside the domain area. Okay, so this is where um, the water is going to flow f flow from. So you know, under the physics tab, going to fluid type, we are going to choose inflow. Inflow means that it's not a fixed volume of water. It's basically a source of water and it will just continuously flow. The experiment that I want to set up is that I want this fluid to basically flow straight at this building. So I'm going to set only the um, velocity on the x-axis and I'm going to set it to 4. So the other thing that's going to be acting on the fluid is gravity and so we'll see how that, um, what that looks like in the simulation. So now we can go to the um, large cube that I made earlier. We can um, go to fluid and we can set it to the domain. Under domain um, we want the end time to be five seconds. Give it a bit longer and we want to come down and check the the number of frames down here. So it starts at 1, it ends at 100, so that's a good length for our animation. The other thing that we can look at is come down into the um, fluid world, which is kind of like how it simulates real world settings. Um, and so we'll check what the setting is for gravity, and the gravity setting and the z-axis is 9.8, which is basically the same as what it would be in the real world. And that's good, so we'll leave that just as it is. Okay, I think that now we are ready to click on the bake button. So our simulation is now baked. Let's press Alt and A to see what happened. So basically the velocity wasn't really high enough um, value to overcome the gravity and so it's not really behaving as air would behave, it's behaving as water would behave 
and um, the gravity is pulling it downwards. So if we kind of click into the animation, we can see how it would look when it's rendered. And it does look very much like water. So at least we know that the material that we've chosen is appropriate.